Look at this ungrateful, pesky son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm talking about this motherfucker right here. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, let's rewind a bit, I'll explain. So, about six months ago, I realized I needed a little bit of extra cash in my pocket, you know? Times was tough and I wanted a PS5. Anyways, I had the fucking diabolical, devious plan of getting myself a roommate, you know? So, I posted an ad on Craigslist, and I got a response the next day. We have a little chat, he says okay. I take him at face value. My mistake. Clear. Fast forward to the next morning. He shows up at my doorstep. And my life has been a living hell ever since. And no, I'm not being dramatic. Let me explain. This guy, this fucking guy, hasn't paid me rent once. Not once in the past six months has he given me a cent for rent. This bum has got no job, he sleeps all day, and when he's not sleeping, he's sprinting around the apartment, causing a ruckus, while I'm trying to work, while I'm trying to pay the fucking rent, using my computer, without my permission, and, and I, I can't take it anymore. And I told him, I told him, I'm well within my right to throw you the fuck out of here, you bastard, okay? And you know what he said? You know what he said to me, this sick fucking bastard? I couldn't believe my ears. In all this, just cause I had the bright fucking idea of thinking I would save some money during this recession. God, wow, I'm such an in. Sorry, sorry you wanted to be financially responsible for once. And maybe also get a PS5 and play Elden Ring. I apologize. But I can't even do that now because I'm spending more money now than I was before. And well, that's because I, well, I'm paying for his full. Okay, and, and don't ask me why, don't ask, but if you must know, nosy, um, well, when he showed up here, he only had like one can of food in his little car, and, you know, he ate that, but then the next night, he didn't go out and get more food, so like, being nice, I gave him some of my food, but then he never went and got more food, and so, he was like, upset about that, clearly, he was like, hungry, and so, I couldn't keep giving him my food, could I? So I got him his own food, uh, you know, just to shut him up, okay? And, and, and fine, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, he's very cute, okay? Obviously, he's a very good looking guy. I'm comfortable with saying that, I don't care. You know, he's gorgeous, honestly. He's beautiful. Some might even say he's the cutest little kitten they've ever seen in their fucking lives. You would never catch me saying that, but if I were to overhear someone saying that, my eyes would not dilate in surprise. I might just simply nod my head in a neutral fashion. Now that being said, his cuteness has not swayed my decision making over the past six months that he's been here at all, okay? It has not. I barely even notice how cute he is, you know? It's something I, I barely think about. And I still plan on throwing him out of here. I do, you know, Gonzo, he's done. I just gotta figure out a good way to do it is all, okay? Get off my back. So, uh, uh, until then, he's... He's my roommate now, I guess. But it's only temporary.